Why you said why you kill that crackhead? Have you reading no comments? You really reading? Nah, some shit with my name pop up when they say some wild shit. I get like glance, I see it. Oh yeah. Okay, okay, okay. It's your boy Omega. We back here with another one. Y'all know what it is. Bossy YouTube, new voice to the street. Let's get it. So we're about to get into this whole Melly and King Get Right situation, man. Because I've been hearing for about a month now on how word is that Melly was the one who got King Get Right. Rest in peace to Man Man, right? So I've been looking into it. At first, I didn't want to believe it. And I'm really starting to believe that it is true that Melly was the one who had something to do with King Get Right's death. Now, the thing is this. I'm going to show you why I believe that, and then I want you guys to let me know what y'all think. I watched the live with Bezu and Melly. It's about an hour long, so what I did was I took all the parts out the live that kind of stuck out to me to where... It kind of looks like Bezu was trying to say some things to Melly and Melly didn't want to get into the conversation about the whole thing. And the main thing that stuck out to me was the comments during the live. There is comments on there where somebody is saying, why did you kill that crackhead that night? More than once. Mind you, when Ken Gay Wright got hit, Another person got hit. It was an older guy who they said was a crackhead, right? Rest in peace to him. No disrespect. I'm just saying what was going on that night. So now the thing is, Bezu kept saying, why don't you backdoor some people out of Jai Road for me or whatever, whatever. Don't backdoor somebody. Don't backdoor somebody. You see Melly's reaction and it looks kind of funny. Another reason why I'm doing this video is because I just recently seen another video where people were saying that Muwa was the one who did it because of the way he was running on that video with him and Vaughn. If y'all remember that video, so there's a video running around where they're comparing the way that Muwa was running and then they're comparing it to the video when the people that ran up on Ken Get Right Killed Them was running. So they're trying to say, oh, that was Muwa because of the way they look alike and the way they ran away from the crime scene. And I'm really starting to think that it is true, that the rumors are true, that Melly has something to do with Ken Get Right. Now, the reason why I'm saying that is because not only did I look into the live and I saw the comments in the live where people was actually saying that he has something to do with it, and Bezu was pretty much saying some things about backdooring people and pretty much Melly's reaction. It was more to this live than we all didn't know about till now because obviously we all didn't know what was going on. But a lot of people in the city did know what was going on. Mind you, I made a few phone calls and I got some information about this too out of the shot, right? And it was confirmed that that was the situation. So Duck told Melly not to go to the party that night. Mind you, that was supposed to be a party for Man Man. Can't get right. Melly wanted to show up anyways. Duck told Melly, don't go to the party because if you don't go with me, then I can't do nothing for you. Right? Mind you, Duck didn't go. He told him, don't go because if you don't go with me, I can't do nothing for you. So a lot of people will question how come he would go to that party if he has something to do with can't get right's death. The thing is this, a lot of times, and this is what I was told, a lot of times people will show up to places like that to just try to prove their innocence. So what I'm hearing is he showed up anyways. The reason why, this is this is the key point to what a lot of people are saying, why Duck had a separate party for King K, right, if they was already having one. This is what the person said to me, and they said, you can... Double check with anybody in the city and those who know will tell you. Right before all that went down, Duck's house was robbed by TW. So therefore, Duck wasn't messing with none of them anymore. He was pretty much on some mind messing with them dudes. He separated himself from TW, which makes sense on why there was two different parties. If y'all all celebrating somebody and y'all gonna have a party, y'all gonna have one big party. Y'all not gonna separate. 
it sounds like, okay, there was a split there, and it makes sense why they would have two parties. Duck had his own party for Man Man out of respect and love for him. Now, what makes me think Duck didn't know it had nothing to do with this is because Duck still told Molly don't go to that party due to the fact that he knew there were going to be T.W. and Javo City members over there. And mind you, Melly was already into it with them. They was already suspecting that Melly had something to do with that. Now, if you look at these pictures, I can't put the video up here, but if you go back to the video of the night King Gay Wright got killed, you see that the person that shot the crackhead behind the car looks just like Melly. You cannot tell me that's not the the way the figure, the, the body shape, everything. That looks like Melly, man. Like you can't tell me it doesn't look like Melly. The person shoots the crackhead behind the car, and then you see him go towards man, man, and hit him up as well. This is crazy because at the end of the day, I never thought that it was actually an inside job. You know what I mean? This whole time, I really thought it was the ops. And this is the reason why Bezu kept pressing and pushing, but he was being careful with the way he did it. Because this is right after that happened, they go live. They, that was fresh. So he's looking at Melly and he's talking to Melly like, man, you know what you did. But at the end of the day, Bezu doesn't care because those are his ops. He won Melly's just as bad. And that's why Bezu was saying what he was saying and doing what he was doing in that line. He was mixing up that beef between them, hoping that somebody picked up on it, even though they already knew and had an idea that Melly had something to do with it. But he was just making sure that Melly looked like the type of dude that was backdooring people so that he could probably get touched without him having to do the job, which is a smart move by Bay Zoo, and it's crazy. Now, the thing is, I don't think Duck knew. One, if he knew... Duck had to just sit back and let it play out because at the end of the day, remember what happened with his cousin Raheem. His cousin Raheem tried to get Melly and Melly got him and Duck couldn't really do nothing about it because it was just how the game go. He respected the code and he was just like, even though it's my cousin, I do got to turn my head the other way because you only did what you had to do. My cousin tried to get you. So he knew Melly only did what he had to do because Raheem tried to get Melly. So therefore, Duck knew he had to just turn his head. The same way with Duck maybe having to turn his head the other way, knowing that Melly was going to go to the party. And he told him, don't go to the party because he probably already knew they was going to get him. One, he was in messing with them. And two, he was like, I can't really, you know what I'm saying, help him and look that way. The best I can do is don't tell him to go to the party. If he doesn't listen, then I can't do nothing about it. Because if you think about it, he can't really do much because at the end of the day, that is his man too. Man man was his boy. So at the end of the day, what can he do? He, he got to respect. If they're going to get him, he got to respect that call. Now, if this dude shows up to the party, we're going to get him because we already know what he's up to. And that's what it boiled down to if Duck didn't know. And if Duck didn't know, that means they kept it from Duck and just waited for him to come to the party to get him. But I really think Duck didn't know and just couldn't do nothing about it. His hands was tied up. Shit was just in too deep, and it was just something that played out to where he pretty much just tried to give him a warning, like, don't go to that party without me, because if I'm not there, I'm not going to be able to help you. Therefore, he might have known. I'm, I'm leaning towards more duck knowing what was going down. So I'm going to leave you out with these videos, man. Let me know what y'all think. This is just what I'm thinking, what I'm picking up, and sources that I'm getting information from out of Chicago that's telling me, confirming that this is what really happened. Therefore, that person told me this is what happened and a lot of people don't know this is, this is what happened about the party. This is the reason why they had two parties because they have robbed Duck's house prior to the party and that's why Duck separated himself from TW. Duck's house got robbed and that's what led to having two different parties, which makes sense. That person told me that and he said, this right here will prove that what you're saying is true. So, therefore, I'm just giving y'all what I'm getting. Y'all know what it is, man. Hit that like. Share this. Subscribe if you're not. Boss of YouTube. New voices.
You don't even drink, man. Stop acting. You, you a baby, man. You don't be drinking. Halfway. Ooh. Somebody said, why you kill that crackhead? Hannah, we ain't on that game. That's all type of ice. I don't know about that. I just came in. Well, on for them, this is, this is a trade card, bitch. I know all type of people watch. What's up, y'all? I ain't showing my face. I ain't talking about when they say some wild shit. I get like glance, I see it. I ain't even reading no comments. You really reading this? No, nah, some shit with my name pop up when they say some wild shit. I get like glance, I see it. Oh, yeah. You want me on your side? No, I don't need you on my side. Tell my want you. You don't need me on your I'm side? Gonna... With your ass be down, boy. I don't need you on my side. I'm going to check out easy. Every individual that you want would got their ass smoked. That's your word. That ain't That's my word. word. They, but you, you be getting everybody hurt. So what you trying to say? I want that. If I was there, it wouldn't go on like that. If I was there, if I was there, it wouldn't go on. If I was there, it wouldn't go you on. You could say one person, and I wasn't there. I was in a bush's piss. You lying, bro. You know I know you lying. Who? What situation? You just say, say one person. person out no, there. bro. We getting recorded, bro. You know that. I'm not gonna say no name. You know what's going on. I'm telling you. Hey, look, we know we ain't, we don't want to be real for we even to be on here not being real, bro. I'm just bro. I just said before you went to jail, bro. No false accusations. Y'all got that bad though. Y'all got that bad though. Don't back door some of the air. You, you can't say I. Right. Don't back door some of the air. You, you can't say I. Right. Keep going for it. Did I tell you about that on your other lap? We was on the phone with uh. Hey, look, man. Uh. They rock with y'all against mouth, us, man. man. They rock with y'all against us. Hey, you see this finger? Watch your mouth. Look at Courtney. Don't make me upset. Look, look, Watch look your at, mouth. Look at your cousin, Courtney. You laughing? Hey, you laugh? It is what it is. You gonna, you gonna, you gonna watch your man, mouth, bro. Everybody. You gonna watch your I mouth. Know. You understand me? You gonna watch your mouth. Look. I ain't criminate myself in no type of way. This live going to the fed, babe. Yeah, this is police. We just kicking it. This is uh, this my friend. <laughs> I'm drunk. Sleep brother. with your group face for my friend. My friend. I thought I was your friend, bro. <laughs> you don't like me, dude? Yeah, so I hate you. I don't hate nobody. You say you don't hate nobody, but you hate me. I hate when I only hate nobody. Well, the feeling, the feeling is mutual. Hey, what I tell you about that word, bro? Hate is a real, is a real bad word, bro. Don't say that no more. <laughs> mm -mm. They don't still that in my size. That way, size medium, bro. I keep telling you that. Let me dead, man. What I do to anybody? What I do to anybody, bro? They said you're going to die before me. Let me pay this. Let me pay this. Pen that. That's what I'm going to pay right now. Pay that, man. Pay that. Why they want to do this? What I do to anybody? I ain't hurt nobody. Like, you did what you did. You got to accept it. I don't cry at me, bro. Don't cry at my funeral. So, mother ain't your dress red something. Don't cry. I don't cry. Get wild. I need 20 for one. You hear me? 20 for one? So Why I'm up 25 and 3. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Yo, did it, did it. Hey, you know they lying, don't you? <laughs> oh, hey, I don't, I don't, I don't name, your name be on so much shit. It be on. Now, so much shit. I don't got nothing to do with it. I don't got to do it. You me with that shit. You irritate me. But my name on some shit, you know? I don't know, but I don't know. They know what they know, though. Yeah. I don't call. The shit I, I was saying when I was... What the, the fuck you the think I am? Listen. Well, I mean, hey, look. Hey, look. Hey, look. Hey, look. Hey, look. It might be true. It might not be true. This shit been born. I was there and I ain't seeing. Both ways. No, it go both ways. If we finna start this back on here, I don't even give a damn. You wanna start this on? It's gonna go both ways. Ah, uh, we been. It's never. It's seven, never man. been no killing without killing.
Stop playing on me, man. You got the balls to be yourself. That's why I like your ass. I'm going to always be myself. <laughs>